welcome to another segment of Lunch and Learn with Lori and Lori. We are your hosts, Lori Hybe, president and owner of Keystone Click. Howdy. And Lori Rifkin. How are you doing owner, today? Owner of Clarity Management. I'm great. It's a beautiful Tuesday. We're, we're kind of slowly getting into the right direction temperature-wise here, aren't we? <laughs> um, so Lori, today's topic is KPIs. Why don't you share with our viewers what KPIs are? A KPI is short for Key Performance Indicator. Um, that's what the term is. It's used throughout the business world. I've seen it for years and years. So it's, it's just what it says. It's a key performance indicator. It could be a forward indicator. It could be a lagging indicator. So can you um, expand on that? Give us an example. Sure. It's, it's a uh, indicator that tells how your business is performing in an area. And the best way to do that is through some examples. Um, on time shipping percentage, number of quotes issued per month, days without injury if you uh, are on a safety program. For accounting, it could be days to close your book. It could be for nonprofits, number of grants applied for. It's some indicators. Some of those are leading indicators and some are lagging indicators. But all of them together tell you how your business is performing. So why should a business owner care about them? Three main reasons. It tells you how your business is performing, which is important. It helps predict future uh, profitability if you use forward-looking KPIs. And it could create a participatory, a participatory profit-oriented culture that everyone is held accountable one because you're using facts, not emotions, to hold people accountable. And the people who are actually, we'll get into this, who are in charge of that area are the ones who are doing the reporting. This is a bottom-up program when you have KPIs, not a top-down. Okay, all right. So uh, there's so many different data points in business in general. I mean, how do you really identify which are the ones to focus on? If I sat down with a business owner and started questioning him, within one hour, we would identify five to 10 key things. Every business could be a little different. That example I use for a nonprofit, they survive on getting grants a lot of them. So the number of grants written would come out of that discussion. I would say if we monitor the number of grants over time and increase them, I would bet that there is a corresponding increase in grants accepted and money in the bank. So by sitting down for an owner, you find out. If you're shipping to Walmart, they look at on-time performance. That's gonna be one of your leading indicators. Every business is a little different. For a dentist, it could be the number of patients who come back after initial consultation. Every business is different, but the most important part is they need to be measurable and quantitatable that you could put them into a number format because you're tracking against numbers. And they should also cover a wide area of your business. They shouldn't just be in one area. They should cover sales, marketing, operations, accounting. They should cover all the areas of your business. So how do we go about reporting these? Um, I've always created a template in Excel. I w and one other important thing I'm going to mention now, you have to set a goal for the KPI. It's just not measuring without a yardstick to measure against. So each KPI would have a goal and you discuss with your management team what the goal should be for that KPI. I would set up an Excel template then where I would track it. And most KPIs work uh, best, I found monthly. Some might work weekly and you would put the numbers in there. And you would do this in both a summary of numeric numbers and a graphical view because some people think visually and some think numerically. And you would have some commentary every month explaining why you met your goal or you did not make your goal. And the other part about that is when you do it, and especially in a graph, you can see trends. You want the trends of your KPI to be closer and closer to your goal. If not, you have a problem and you should research what you need to do about it. It could have been your goal is not right, or it could be you're not making your goal. So who's typically in charge of reporting this information then within a company? The person who's responsible for that area. And that's the important part. The KPIs tell you how your business is performing, but they also do something that's almost as valuable or more valuable. They create a culture of accountability. It's a peer-to-peer -peer process. Um, if I'm in charge of, of shipping, I'm the one who's coming to a meeting on KPIs and saying, we shipped 98% on time last month. 
our goal is 100%. Okay. Um, so if I'm in charge of reporting them, how do I make sure I'm communicating the status with the rest of the organization? Well, you should do this in a monthly meeting. All your, pe all your people who are responsible for KPIs would have a monthly meeting. Everyone would present their KPI and how they're tracking towards their goals. And peers are welcome and encouraged to ask questions. Again, I mentioned before, KPI, um, a KPI system works best when it's a bottom-up process. It doesn't work when a boss comes in, I wanna measure all these things. You have to have buy-in from the bottom because again, they're performance indicators and the people who are reporting, the, reporting these KPIs need to perform against them. So it's not just a set of numbers at the end of the month, it's building a, cu a culture of performance, accountability and taking action. How does a company use this information to make, make money? Well, let's use it, uh, I'll make it a sales example. I and most organizations I'm in wanna track the number of quotes issued per month. Um, I want to track the closing percent of those quotes, the time between a quote and order. If I track that over time, I see the relationship of quotes to turn into orders to turn into profitability. And so if I manage that KPI, set goals that increase over time and help that person give them the resources to go out there and meet that KPI, I'm going to get more sales and make more money. On time performance, if Walmart charges you a late fee when you're not shipping on time, Tracking your KPI, making sure you're always on time will reduce your cost and make you more money. Um, and again, the other part's the cultural part. After three or four months of having KPI meetings, people will start coming and be proud of their meeting their KPIs and it just feeds on itself. You get better overall performance in your company when everyone knows you're watching the numbers. And this is not the bottom line of a net income number. This is the operating statistics that drive net income. Fantastic. Any final tips to share on KPIs? Yeah, I found people procrastinate on which ones to do. I would say if I came into your organization and said, we're going to set up a KPI performance system, we're just going to pick them that day and start measuring some and just start. The most important thing is to start and to tell your team you are going to be doing it. I learned over time that I will give them a template because that's one of the things that people procrastinate. How do I, how do I record these? What form and I do? I don't know how to make a graph. So the jumpstart the process, I've always come in with a template. All people have to do is type in a couple of numbers and the system starts working. And I've never seen where they have not had a positive impact. That's awesome. And so obviously one of your services is to help businesses identify these KPIs. And as you said, you have a template to share. Yes, to jumpstart because they do work. Um, I would ask you, Lori, what's a KPI in your business? Oh, we, look, we actually look at a lot of them. Look at them from the marketing perspective, how many visitors to our site, um, how many social posts are we pushing out there. And then from sales, we look at um, the number of networking events we're attending, um, the number of people that filled out any sort of uh, gated content piece, new business calls. There's a lot of KPIs we're looking at. Yeah, I think most businesses will find if they sit down and really think about it, they have a lot and they have a lot to predict future profitability. That's one other part. Over time, you might rotate new KPIs in and take out old ones. The idea is to find a larger percentage of forward looking KPIs to predict profitability forward than lagging KPIs. But I would never be mad at someone starting with lagging because at least they're starting the process. So I would say you should watch this podcast pick one KPI, and when we post this online, let us know how it's working for you. That sounds good. All right, yeah, comment below with what KPIs you are following within your business. All right, well, happy to help answer any other questions. This wraps up Lunch and Learn with Lori and Lori. We will see you next week for another episode. Have a good day.